This is called Wake Up Susan. It goes like this. and then uh, later on I'll work it up to full speed which is actually kind of fast this thing goes through the whole dulcimer um, down here the lowest string up here to almost my highest string it goes up pretty high here too the A part sounds like an Irish tune I think it's swinging on a gate I might be wrong but it starts out here high and it's an A tune so it's going to use the G sharp and it starts, starts out at that A Starts out A twice, and that would be your first phrase. So work that up. And every once in a while, pause the video so that you can work on a lick, get it up to speed, get the hammer pattern in your memory, muscle memory, and go on to the next one. So, okay, that would be the first phrase. The second phrase. up to this point is then that's the next phrase drop now on this phrase you're going to go right up the A scale and you're going to include the G sharp but in order to include the G sharp which is, for me is above the F I'm going to need to have the hammer pattern right now I'm not much of into being a hammer Nazi, but on this one, you're going to have to start with the left hand in order to have the right hand free to go up later. So it's going to be like this. Right? So you're going to work your way up from the left all the way up to the top, then back down. Now at this point, you're going to do the scale again, but you're going to start instead of down here with G sharp, you're going to start up here on the uh, D. You start with the left hand, so you have the right hand free for that. Let's try that again. So, that's what we did in the beginning. Now, at this point, I sneak my left hand up to the D. parts where it gets real interesting. Now in the sheet music it goes, that's the first note of the B part is, is that A. However, there's one you want to sneak in there. If you're an old time fiddler, you're going to do that roll on it and it's going to sound like this. So the B part is going to actually start out here with the lower note, which is I believe um, G sharp. So it goes like this. Real detail because it's gonna really goof you up. You're gonna have to muscle memory this one like crazy. Right? That would be your first. And a little lick at the end to finish it up, but the, the thing goes. Now you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna go up another box. 
You're, but what you're going to do is instead of hitting a mark bridge, you're going to go one above, one above. Now you need to have you need to have a G sharp in there. So, so you're going to hit that one right there. So it's going to be. That's going to be your, your hammer pattern. So you're going to be practicing. Because you're going to cross that right hand over and down. So the first one is. Now this is where it gets really weird because on a fiddle, all I have to do is move my little finger a little bit and I can sharpen up a note. On a hammer dulcimer, there's the G, there's the G sharp, there's the D, there's the D sharp. So I'm going to be all over the place, but it works if you do it, if you practice it, and it, and it looks like this. So the going phrase is going to be like this. Now, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit that uh, E. Now E up to G sharp. Sneak the left hand up. Okay, I'm gonna make a scale down. And I'm gonna slide over here to the D sharp. All right, so I'll try it again. D sharp, which for me is above B flat, to right down here to A is quite a stretch. There's no other way to do it. I haven't got a high one of those hanging around here anyway. Uh, but if you work on it muscle memory, you shouldn't have to be looking here and looking here. You should be able to, just because of muscle memory, be able to sneak those two. So one more time.